We've had two brand new Terror Raid events announced for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. We're going to go over all of the details for these events in today's video. But before we get into the video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you would like to. Now, with that seven star Charizard event just ending, we've had two brand new events announced. The first one is going to be based all around Delibird, warm gifts for the holiday season. And it'll be running from Friday the 23rd of December at midnight UTC, which translates into to about 7 p.m. Eastern time. You can then translate that into your own time zone or relevant time zone, wherever you are. It'll be running through from that date to December the 25th at midnight UTC. Delibird will be appearing more frequently in Terror Raid battles. These Delibird will have various Terror types, so prepare wisely before challenging them. Kind of confirming that there is no tied Terror type to these Pokemon. Defeating Delibird will yield plenty of rewards and Delibird appearing in five star Terror Raid battles may even and reward you with various terror shards so that is interesting delibird renowned in pokemon sword and shield raid dens to give you more and rarer item drops so i'm hoping that translates over to these particular event dens because we're all hoping really for herba mystica to be dropped right and this could be an event where we do get finally some herba mystica in these event dens can't guarantee it but rare item drops are something that you would expect to get in particular from Delibird raids. We might just end up getting more level up candies like nuggets, rare shards, but there is the potential of getting rarer Pokeballs as well with these dens. That was something that we saw in Pokemon Sword and Shield. So the Apricorn Balls had a chance of, of being dropped from Deli Bird events, in particular the Crown Tundra raid events. So we could see something similar happening in these ones. But we'll have to wait and see until the event does drop. Of course, we'll be covering all of the details here on the channel. And if we've got any particular builds that make these events a lot easier, we will drop those as well. Like we say, it'll be running from December the 23rd to the 25th and they will be from one star terror raids to five star terror raids obviously the five star will give you way more better item drops but that is all the details for this first event coming up this weekend and then we've got the other event which is probably the more exciting of the two and it is going to be for a pokemon that is not currently available in these games and it is going to be around cinderace it's going to be the next seven star terror raid event and it will be catch cinderace with the mightiest mark so that same mark that the charizard had cinderace with the mightiest mark will be appearing in black star terror raid battles to commemorate 2023 the year of the rabbit you can try scoring a win against cinderace first from friday december the 30th at midnight utc which again will translate to wherever your time zone is and run to sunday the 1st of january at midnight utc so we're going to get that standard kind of time from friday to sunday to take part in these events and it is going to appear twice so it's a bit like the charizard seven star raid den where we had it appear that first time and then two weeks later it happened again the same thing's happening with the cinderace and it'll be appearing again from january the 13th to sunday the 15th uh, so we're going to get two opportunities to take advantage of these seven star raid dens now like i've already mentioned cinderace cannot be normally encountered in paldea you can only get it through trading it from pokemon home which we don't have compatibility with that is not coming until spring 2023 and we don't have a date for that yet so it's an early chance to get yourself a cinderace which is going to be really good and the cinderace appearing during these events has the fighting terror type so it will only be fighting terror type making it a formidable fall it even has the mightiest mark to prove it work together with your friends to trip up this powerful terror pokemon and then it goes on to say this special cinderace can be caught only once per save data so a lot like that charizard you can still participate in terror raid battles against the cinderace to obtain other rewards if you've already caught it so a lot like the Charizard, you're going to be able to catch one of these. It will be good because it's seven stars, so it'll have those six perfect IVs. And you've got to think it's going to have its hidden ability, which is Libero. And this makes it a way more difficult prospect than the Charizard Den for a number of reasons. Cinderace has a brilliant move pool. The ability, hidden ability, Libero, will change its type whenever it uses a move. So if it uses something like Iron Head, which it does have access to, it will turn into a Steel type. It has Sucker Punch, so it can turn into a Dark type. It can use something like Bounce, turn into a Flying type. It has a very deep move pool and it can be very dangerous. So it's going to make preparing for it a lot more difficult than the Charizard. It's not as simple as saying, let's just use Flutterman and go in against it because Flutterman goes to its immune 
immune to the fighting type and with the fairy you can hit it for very good damage now now float main probably is going to be a good option against it but you're going to have to be very careful around the different options that cinderace does have like i say if it's got iron head then float main is not going to be enjoying its time going up against this cinderace so i do feel like we're going to have to have some maybe different builds to go in against this one and it's going to be a lot more difficult than the charizard one was just because of that Librero ability of course i will be putting together a number of builds that are going to help you do this red den solo and a lot easier so you can farm all of the item drops that we get from this event and make this one a lot easier so it's not too difficult so don't worry about that but make sure you are subscribed to the channel so you don't miss those videos when they do drop but this one is very exciting. Like I say, it's not for a couple of weeks, but it is one that we can all look forward to. And I love the fact that Cinderace is coming to Scarlet and Violet and that we get it as well before home compatibility is implemented later next year. But that is everything that we're going to cover in today's video. So I hope you found it useful. If you have, please drop a like. Let me know your thoughts down below on these brand new terror events. Are you looking forward to them? What do you expect from them? And how hard do you think that seven star Cinderace battle is? I haven't heard too many people talking about the Librero ability, but I feel like that is going to be a huge factor. These raid dens and making them a bit more difficult than what people might expect them to be. I do think with how easy the Charizard events actually turned out to be, people might have a bit of an oversight and get a bit of a shock when they come up against Cinderace. It's not going to be an easy Pokemon and it is probably a lot more threatening than Charizard overall. But thank you for tuning in friends. Have a great rest of your day and I will catch you all in another video very soon. So until then, take care of yourselves. Bye bye.